Hello and welcome to yet another video on USSD programming. In this video, we are going to set up our Firebase project and we are going to set up our cloud functions that we are going to use for this project. We are also going to activate hosting and finally we are going to also activate cloud Firestore. Then after that, we're going to install Firebase tools on our desktop and test whether our cloud functions will be working as expected. So this is a short video that is going to take us uh, through that. You need to go to Firebase to start, Firebase console to start, and then you can click on that link is going to take you directly to your account and this is the account that I want to use for the project. So the first thing we need to do is create a new project. I'm going to call this project USSD-1 and then continue. We are not going to enable Google Analytics for this project but let's create it now. It's going to take a few minutes to set up the project and then we can continue uh, with activating uh, the features that we want to use and we are using in this case cloud functions hosting and cloud firestore uh, this is done let's continue this is the first page that you come across when you, you set up this so let's activate our cloud firestore by clicking on this and uh, creating a database it's advisable that you start in production mode. For you to be able to do that, you need to set up the Firebase rules. And since we have not learned anything about Firebase, I would recommend that uh, we do this later. But in a real life project, you should always start in production mode, set the rules and then continue. So we are going to start in production mode and then set the security later. Then next, we look for the nearest location i'm going to select europe west and then enable give it some time to configure the database cloud firestore is an osql database that uses json format to store our data and this makes it very easy and very very easy first first of all very easy to work with the database and secondly it speeds up the database access process. I'm going to create a collection called USSB. So this works as collections and a collection is like a table. We, will, we are not going to be doing this the way we are doing it. It's just to, for me to demonstrate how it works. Let's create auto ID. The ID will be generated automatically, which means that if you come here and create another collection, it's going to be creating these IDs automatically. And this is what I was talking about. This is the JSON notation format of data storage. As you can see, there is account number, ACC1001, mobile number, name and friends. So there is a key and value pair in this kind of database. Forget about it for now. Let's go to the next thing that we're interested in. And that is hosting but we are not going to do hosting at this point we don't need to get started but we can do it later let's close this and go to functions we are interested in cloud functions so i want to to explain to you how it's going to work we have to upgrade our our project so that uh, we can get the features that we need for the cloud functions and i want to show you uh what means because as you can see cloud functions is not available here and it's also limited to node.js 8. Node.js 8 has some features that are already deprecated so you will try to, to upload some uh, newer technologies and they will not work for us. As we are going to work with node.js js12 which is the latest it's free up to 2 million per month that is invocations uh, in short you're not going to pay anything for using it unless you have a very 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 big need that is going to require you to activate so i'm going to select the blaze plan i had already 
put my billing information so that works for me as you can see we have created an additional project uh, let's go to start run and uh, type code dot to open our visual studio code i recommend this for development purposes but if you have another id that you prefer using you're good to go so go to cd desktop or whichever directory you want to go to and then uh, we are going to create a directory here or a folder mkdir and we are going to call it ussd uh, then cd into it ussd and then uh, here we need to install our firebase tools to install firebase tools you type npm install hyphen g for global which means you are installing in this uh, computer once we will never install them again and then uh, the name of the tools firebase hyphen tools tools and then you enter and uh, this is going to take some time to install the installation is now complete the next thing we need to do now is to initialize our firebase project and to achieve this we do firebase init init for initialize and we are going to answer a set of questions that will help firebase create the project for us yes we want to proceed so we type i and enter uh, we are going to select the features that we are going to use for this project. The first one is Firestore. So you move with down arrow, then space to select. And then you we select also functions and then hosting. Then we can enter to confirm. Yes, we are going to use an existing project. Enter to select. The project that we created is the last one. We go down and select it. And then give Firebase some time to install it we want our firestore rules to be in this file called firestore rules so yes yes indexes already exist yeah we can replace it because we have not done anything else uh, on it we are going to use javascript you can use typescript if you want if you are familiar with the language yes lint i'm not going to use this uh, npm that is node modules to help us install libraries and packages that we need for the project so yes and this is also going to take some time so i'm going to pause and then come back after this is done npm has been installed successfully so we are going to use public directory for our web files configure yes because we are going to use Vue.js in the future we need to configure it as a single page project we are not going to use github if you got to this point without errors you have initialized your firebase project successfully what you're going to do now is to test whether our cloud functions are working as intended but before we get there let me first explain the files that we have created here let's open functions as you can see we have created uh, we have installed the node package manager git ignore git ignore uh, here you put all the files that you don't want to set uh, to github in case we had initialized git github for the project but we didn't use github because we are not going to work with github at this particular point i'm going to skip this because i'm going to come to it as the last file these files that end with json at the end they are for settings of our project you don't need to worry about them anymore uh, why i can it was a mistake it's supposed to be firebase rules but still going to work so there's a place we selected yes instead of enter that is why we have y instead of firebase rules and these are the rules that i was talking about when you are configuring our project so these we, we are going to work on them for security but as the very last thing in this project uh, this uh, public this is where our html files will be stored but as we said we are going to do it as a a, a Vue.js project so we will only have one index.html so that it can be a single page project 
uh what else i think i've explained everything and this there are two directly there's, there's the functions directly and there's a public directory public directory is for our web pages while functions directory is for our functions let's configure our first functions i'm going to close this for now and comment this if i may remove this to, to avoid getting an error what you can see now on your screen is a complete cloud function if we deploy this to firebase we are going to get a response and this response will be hello from firebase to change this so that we don't work with the default and we are able to see uh, our real work we can type hello from from cloud functions and we can even change the name of this cloud function and call it new web app and that's that's complete now we can host it on firebase let's save and then go to terminal new terminal let us now deploy our cloud function and to deploy it you type firebase deploy and because we are only deploying we are only deploying these functions we are not deploying public and public is hosting uh, we are going to to put dash dash only to say that we are only deploying functions and then we type functions and then we enter and wait for the functions to be deployed if you come to this place here uh, and we click at this point in time there is nothing there's nothing uh, to be seen so we give it some time and uh, until this process is complete we shouldn't be able to see anything there give it some time and uh, you, as you can see the file is quite small it has been upload it's uploading actually 24 kbs uh, i told you about node we are using node.js 12 if you remember the other free plan from firebase has node 8 as the version of node.js so we are good to go because this node 12 this takes some time so let me pause the video and come back when it's finished we have successfully deployed our first cloud functions uh, what we need to, to do is to check whether it's going to give us this message back when you go to firebase and then we can click on this and see whether it's going to show anything let's go out first and then come back and here it is and it's called new web app if you copy this url if you copy this url and paste it here and then enter we're supposed to get hello from cloud functions and this should be the same as this hello from cloud functions if you re you can remember the video that we did on uh, ussd programming using php we were using heroku to get that kind of response but from now going forward we are going to be using firebase cloud functions i hope this video has been informative to you Please subscribe so that you are able to follow when I release the next video. And in that video now we are going to change this cloud function and work on it in a way that is going to give us now the data that we want for our USSD application. First we are going to make sure that you, you, the USSD application is working in Node.js and then we can use it to interact with the firestore database so we'll be using our phone to enter data in the database to get data from the database and all that huh? and i can promise you it's going to be quite interesting it's going to open a lot of possibilities for you and i expect you to come up with something innovative that you can develop by using what you're going to learn in this whole course i'm happy that we got to this level with you thank you for watching this video let us catch up in the next video.